Okay, the next step is to um, have a list of your um, clients and uh, contacts. Keep everything organized and have everything at your fingertips. So for that, we'll use the um, address book that comes with the Mac. It's right here. This is the icon for it. If you pulled it out of your dock, then uh, you can simply right-click on it and, and uh, select the uh, Keep in Dock feature uh, when it's not there. Or if you dragged a... Um, your applications folder to the uh, st and made it into a stack, you can simply select it from there. We reviewed that before. So, click address book and it opens up. And this is my this is the um, my card right here. Your card will be a little have a little icon next to it. <clears throat> and so far, I've got a bunch of um, bar associations and so forth built up. And I have these in different um, in different groups, and that's probably the, that, that's a really nice way to keep. Uh, keep your things organized. You can keep your clients in one group and perhaps your your, your um, colleagues in another group, opposing counsel in another group, judges in another group, um, whatever makes sense to you. To create a group, it's very simple. Just uh, click on the uh, plus button down here and then we'll call this um, judges and that's it. And then it's created. Now if you want to create a contact within a group, you simply click on the group. We'll create that. We'll uh, Click the plus button here. This is the, the members of the group in this in this center um, column. Click that and we'll make type some information there. Um, okay, and then we click the edit button when we're done editing, and there we go. We have the first member in the group. Now I'm in the client group, and by default I'll also be in the in the all group, you can drag things from uh, group to group. So you say if you want to take one of these guys and make it into a client, just do like that. And it adds it adds that particular contact into that group. Now, if you don't want that person in the group anymore, you can simply highlight it and press delete. And it's going to ask you to remove from group or to delete the entire thing. So we just want to move this, remove this from the group. We'll keep the contact where it was before. So we move to the group. The group is just me. Now, hopefully, you set up Mobile B uh, as, uh, as w when we reviewed it last time, and we're gonna. I've um, Mobile Me. That, there it is. I just created that um, that that uh, contact, and it's already synced up with uh, Mobile Me, and I'm already in there. So it's pretty fast. It happened in a matter of a few seconds. As you can see, when I when I add when I change this address book, these uh, s these arrows started spinning right here, and that means it's syncing up with Mobile Me. Of course, Mobile Me is a secure service. Service, it's you know if you're some people get a little bit um, concerned about having stuff online backed up online, but it's a common practice. And as far as I'm concerned, I like to if I'm going to do something like that and have my information somewhere, I want it with a big company. I think I think I trust Apple and many people who have. Um, uh, email accounts with Gmail or Yahoo or AOL or anything, any kind of information that goes anywhere that you don't own the server, you're trusting someone else. So in this world, we have to trust somebody. I like to trust uh, big companies. So I'm okay with having my stuff on mobile me. Of course, that also means that with your iPhone, when we get done setting that up, which takes only a few minutes, we'll cover that in the later sections, um, You'll also have this information directly on your phone as well. So you could have your perhaps your secretary puts in a new contact into the address book. It syncs up with Mobile Me a second later, and then you have it in your phone a few seconds after that. Now, the information that you want to keep in your address book is up to you, and you may want to customize it. For that, you go to preference, you click on address book, preferences. And then go to template. Now the template you can include of a lot, a, a, all sorts of different information. One thing I recommend doing: click Add Field, and then click Birthday. I know for me, um, in criminal defense, it's always always had a need for the birthday, and it's also something that if you want to add a personal touch um, to your clients, you can send them birthday greetings. And I'll show you in the next when we review the um, iCal iCal will automatically show all of your birthdays that you have in your um, in your uh, address book. So it, it keeps a nice little uh, list for you, and it reminds you, and you'll know when you have to uh, when you have a birthday coming up, and you can send out a nice little uh, 
a nice little email or card to your clients and um, engender some goodwill. So these are the way these work is fairly simple. You just you know if you want to add more things, you just click clicking the add button. If you want less, you just do less. Uh, you select click these. You select what you want to do. Maybe you want uh, something different. Here I added um, you know a blog, uh, custom whatever you know whatever makes sense to you in that particular field. Then you add it in there, and that's uh, and that's all you have to do. And this is all of the all of the all of the um, address book that you're going to need that you can manage you know a number of clients and then of course you this works with the email um, you can email entire groups um, by simply I'll show you a little something about the email here one thing that I like about it we'll test it out and see what it is well I sent myself an email a new contact email now this is um when you roll over the contact information email you see this box pop up now we'll click on that and say create New contact. George Smith. Da, 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 da. Okay, that looks pretty good. Got all the information that I wanted. And add to address book. Now we will close that out. And go into contacts. Let's see where I added it. Search for George. T O R. There's George Smith, and we'll move him over to co to potential clients. And there, there is George Smith. We got his information, the address book, just that fast. Now let's see if it was uh, if if Mobile Me has it already. Are these wheels spinning? Let's see. Okay. Right, we logged in and we go to our address book and we go to clients oh it's not there yet let's see if it comes the wheels are spinning let's refresh the page and see if we have it oh there it is that's pretty quick it said it's a pretty uh, pretty um, a pretty speedy service and that's how fast your information gets um, gets backed up and relayed to you available for your use so that's um that's about it in advanced topics. I'll go over um, subscribing to other people's address book, um, which is a nice thing to do if you have one central address book for your whole for your firm. You can have each lawyer um, subscribe to different to, uh, to to parts of it, so you all can have the same uh, um, access to the same information. There's a lot of potential to do things there, and we'll go over um, smart groups, which is a very nice thing. There's a lot there's a lot of so-called smart um, there's smart folders or smart groups. There's a lot of smart things on the um, on the Mac, and those have to do with um, search. They search through your things and sort your things for you, and that's very helpful to find um, different uh, pieces of information and to keep organized on your Mac. But for right now, you're all set. You can send mail. You have a place to put your contacts. It syncs up. Everything you um, could possibly need is everywhere you have it. And that will get us to the next step.